There are TV shows and movies that have a character on the autism spectrum. It could be Asperger's or it could be any other part on the spectrum. But there are five that I know of that I have seen or at least know of and or watched that has a character on the spectrum or has the symptoms of Asperger's, but they've never actually said if that character has that one thing. I think the number one person or character that, you know, pretty much screams Asperger's or autism, Sheldon Cooper in The Big Bang. If you don't know anything about Asperger's or autism, but you see Sheldon in The Big Bang, you would know just the way that he acts and just the way that he just is as a character and as a person, you would think that he has Asperger's. I know that they never really confirmed or denied that Sheldon had Asperger's or is on the spectrum. You know that he is somewhere in that category. Sheldon can do so many things. Like he can thrive in some areas, but he doesn't do well in others. Another popular character on the spectrum is Dustin Hoffman in Rain Man. His character is actually based on an actual guy named Kim Peek. He's able to like remember every single thing that has happened in the world and to him and to the people around him, but he had a hard time in other things. So they had based Dustin's character on Kim Peek. It's interesting that they can get inspired by an actual person and make it into a worldwide phenomenon. It's great to see that they can bring real life into movies like Rain Man. Another one is Freddie Highmore in The Good Doctor. He plays Sean Murphy, who is an autism savant surgical resident. And it's obvious that he is on the spectrum because he's very monotoned. He's very formative when it comes to things that he's passionate about, especially when it comes to medicine, like his character. He's a genius when it comes to the medical part of his job. But when it comes to interacting with his coworkers and the other doctors, he has a hard time. And there's Sam from Atypical, who is this, I think he's 17 or 18 years old, and he's obsessed with Antarctica. So he's really good at like, you know, talking about penguins and like, all that stuff and he wants to find a girlfriend and he wants to date and he wants to do all that. He just has a hard time connecting with people. His sister looks out for him. His mom's really overprotective. How they betray Sam as somebody on the spectrum really shows what it's like to ha be a teenager and having Asperger or autism. You just want to fit in and when things don't go your way, you get really frustrated. And there's a movie with Dean Cain called A Mile in His Shoes about this young man named Mickey Tesler who lives on a farm with his parents who's on the autism spectrum. And he is a really good pitcher. He's a really good baseball player, but he's never actually played baseball. His parents don't want him to leave the farm to pursue baseball because this is his home. He's looked after. His parents want to watch him 24 seven and make sure that he's, you know, okay. But with the advice from Dean Kane, he takes a young man under his wing and takes care of him and he succeeds. It's baseball, it's Asperger's. So that is five characters that involves either a storyline that's autistic or Asperger's related or has a character that's on the spectrum. They may not be like the center of the TV show or movie, but it's like part of the storyline. That's Asperger's in entertainment in Hollywood. And I hope that they continue on to have characters on the spectrum. And I hope that they have more females on the spectrum. A lot of these characters are male based characters with Asperger's or autism. And I wish that they can branch out and give us more females that are on the spectrum. Cause that'd be awesome for young females to have somebody in a TV show or movie to look up to that has Asperger's. But you know, one day at a time, we'll get there.